A little bit ago. You gotta find someone who looks guilty. Yeah, the guilty people. Guilty. Sir. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today, in Trevi's last minute ideas, about 45 minutes ago, I decided I wanted to go to SEMA. SEMA started today, and it's 12:30. I have to be on the flight. The doors close for the flight at 1:06. We have about 30 minutes left of this drive, so I have about 10 minutes to get from the parking lot into the airport, into the flight, and get on and, uh, and basically head head to SEMA. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna stay tonight. I don't even know if my pass to get into the show is gonna work or if it even went through, but I booked a flight. We're on our way. Jamie packed me a bag. I got me a backpack. My friends are out there. I didn't know if this SEMA was gonna happen this year, if it was gonna get canceled like last year due to all the things and stuff that's going on, but hey, let's go. Let's, let's go to Vegas. Vegas, baby. Hi guys, so three hours ago, I didn't think I was even coming to SEMA and then I just kind of decided, hey, it's a 30 minute ride to the airport and a two hour flight. Let's go. My buddy Dave's out here. Yeah. And two hour walk around this place to try to figure out how to get registered because I did it online. So we're walking in on our 20 mile walk to registration. Normally this is the wheel and tire section and it goes all the way back. Yeah, so if you, if there's, you, there's lean long. Yeah, I think that those are the only people that are here. So if you look back here, look at this. That is all empty. So these are this would typically all be I, vendors, look, look. but they're not here. There's a tumbleweed. Is there a tumbleweed over there? Well, Look at that. Poor Sima. All right, boys, we made it over to Dodge. And this is actually Dave's world. This is Dave's world right here. I'm surprised they don't have a, a Hellcat Charger Magnum wagon over here. Oh, I know, I'm surprised they don't. I mean, no, it's, you, it's some, somebody missing. should have had one of those out here, but yeah. nobody did. And then they have this unit, but Dave just says that it's a regular, it's a 5.7, not, not what it is. Sima's definitely not the same. Normally, you, would be, you wouldn't be able to walk. You wouldn't be able to walk, but now you could walk freely, which is really, really weird. This thing's really nice. I'd like me one of these, but yeah, normally can't even walk in through this thing. Dave's over here trying to swindle some parts out of the, the Mopar garage. So I haven't actually seen one of the new Broncos in person. So this is actually the first one that I've paid attention to. This one looks pretty sick. I know factory, like the pictures online, they don't look that cool, but when you put wheels and tires and bumpers and paint match stuff, then they turn out really, really nice. This thing looks, this thing looks sick, Dave. I want one. I'd have one. I'd go right ahead with it too. The nice thing about being out here this year, there's not that many people, so you could actually get around and film stuff. This thing's pretty cool. A little 4BT Bronco. Clean little swap, but it's it's kind of cool to see this one compared to the other one over there. Check out this power wagon right here. This thing is freaking sweet. It's got some sort of turbo. So, ooh, looks like it's got maybe a 6.7. It's got a VGT turbo on it. It's got some nice patina. This thing is sick. Over here at the Milestar booth. These tires are freaking sweet. 42, 14, 50, 20s. I bet, those brakes get hot. I bet the brakes do get a little bit hot, but this thing is freaking sick. Yep, look at that C8 GTR. What's up guys, get in here for a chance to win. Every thousand dollars you spend, it's automatic entry, Dave, right? This thing's sick. What do you think of the grill? I don't like the center. Dave, that one looks all right. I, yeah. <laughs> Great. Come through. There's also a Supra over here. No. Big big fan of the Supra. Look at this thing. <laughs> I uh, ultimately would really like to build a Z eventually. This is a 2JZ R32. That's good. Dave, where did all the booths go? I ate them. They're literally gone. This is nuts. Normally, you can't sit you can't stand you can't do nothing because all the booths dave what do you think about that overland tent 
camping in the middle of nowhere. You know, that's that's kind of the cool thing about having an overland tent is that you could just go somewhere and just camp where nobody's at, you know, just get out of the civilization and just get it, you know, get off the beaten path where nobody's at. Maybe the 2022 SEMA show <laughs> where nobody is. I mean, there there is lots of booths and stuff, but it's just, it's not what it used to be. All right, guys. So it is day two of the SEMA show out here. And uh, I just uploaded a video yesterday or the day before of uh, Civic attempting its uh, first eight second pass. So if you guys haven't watched that, go check that out. Kind of want to announce that we are doing a VIP, another VIP giveaway. So if you're a VIP member, you get 10 times entries. If you're a non-VIP member, you get one time entries. But we're basically giving away your choice of 10 different project cars. I'm gonna put a list in the description. Um, haven't really filmed a whole lot of stuff. I'll, I'll film like an actual video, but I just wanted to let you guys know if you wanted to go, uh, you know, go check out the list, see what's on there, see what you think about it. And uh, yeah, mostly today I'm just gonna kind of focus on the performance section. Yesterday we went and talked to a couple people in the wheel and tire space, but today we're gonna go in the performance section and talk to some of the sponsors, the people that I've worked with before, and then try to talk to a couple new companies, see how they're doing, see if they want to see how I'm doing. You get spoiled like this S14 right here. Like wow, it's like they have those uh, headlights out of like a T. Tail end. It's really cool looking. This is a pretty cool thing I just stumbled upon. So this is a Nissan 350Z. They have that VR30 DDTT. So this was an option. As you guys know, we did blow up the engine in the 350Z at the road course. And uh, this little upgrade booth over here, they have this guy. But I think this would be a really cool swap. I mean, it, it basically looks factory because it pretty much is. And uh, this thing's come, come factory in like the Q50 Reds. So it's twin turbo, three liter V6, basically like a little mini GTR engine. But it's really cool. They have like the water to air intercooler. So the comes straight out of the turbos, right in the water to air, right in the intake manifold. So there's no intercooler up front. There's just a heat exchanger. But I would like to put one of those in, in something. Maybe not the Z or maybe. Pretty cool setup that Acura has over here. Let's get the Type S. It's like an MDX or RDX. These are a turbo four cylinder. Obviously the NSX. It's be like a perfect lineup. Like the daily for me and the daily for the, the old lady. And then like the track car. All Type S stuff. This is sweet. Really would like to get one of these. Had the opportunity to buy one at the auction. It was wrecked a couple years ago for like 50, and now they're all like really expensive now. First, they were selling for cheaper than they than they started with. I think this is a uh, it's a TLX, so it's a turbo something all-wheel drive. This would be a rad freaking daily. Pretty cool. It's an Accord wagon. It has like the Type R engine. So this is the K20 C1. It's basically a two liter turbo. Turbo just bolts straight to the head in the front. And, and a cord wagon that looks like they do some sort of uh, time tack road racing. It's all caged up. Really clean setup. I would really like to have uh, one of those engines for, for something. This is it right here. It's crazy, all the mounting stuff looks kind of similar. The packaging is probably a lot easier because the turbo is in the front. So, you know, straight to the intercooler, back around to the intake manifold. Like on this car, it's interesting, they have the battery mounted right there in the back, so that's pretty convenient. This is a really cool color. I don't know what, uh, I don't want in what color it is, but that would be cool to paint something. Super looks really sick. We're here to check out LS swap to Tesla. So Ford's doing a lot of stuff with this new Mach E. Pretty interesting. Every time I come out here to SEMA, I always dream of having little uh, four post three car lift yeah all right guys so we made it over here to the Tecton tools booth 
check out all these things. Jim, we, we're at the boy you Jimmy. Give me the full rundown already. Like, I feel like you should put the red shirt on and just sell these tools all, all Be day. selling the tech. To well, Jimmy, if you guys know anything about Jimmy, he's got a beautiful tool collection, right? Bad. It's embarrassing. You're gonna have to send me a picture of like your toolbox. I feel it's, like I, dude, it's embar it's embarrassing. You know, like when you when you have a dirty room and you don't want to tell any of your friends. Yeah. That's like my tool collection, like the dirty. But then room like room. your friends need to go in there to build cars, and that's what you do for a living. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So buddy, like, look at all these tools. So the the black ones don't look that pretty. I was telling Jimmy about this. This thing it used to be fifty five dollars. A snap on set's like six hundred and fifty. Designer. Yeah. Designer, baby. That's and dude. so as you guys know, uh, Tekton has been a sponsor of the channel for a while. They sent me out some tools bunch of tools and then we do a lot of tech and tool giveaways which i told nice. him i was like jimmy you need to get hooked up with my boys over here at tech team well look at these dude something about just a nice set of shiny well-built organized sockets just really get get you going how come it's never got you going before enough to do it okay well we'll talk about that off camera yeah <laughs> but look at all this all the quarter inch stuff come out with some new wrenches and stuff and i think they're going to be doing some black i hope they do a black friday sale uh, their pliers are really good. Their hammers are great. Got little cutters and stuff. See, this is the one-all tool right here. That's get all you one need. Of these and get one of these. There you oh, go. You could build anything. Pretty see? much. <laughs> they got the crow's foot. But yeah, Tekton's been uh, a huge uh, supporter of the channel the last couple. I think it's the last two years. I came out here two years ago. Started talking to them about it, and then I did some sponsor stuff with them. They sent me some tools. They sent the Boosted Boys some tools. I'm gonna try to get them hooked up with Jimmy. Send Jimmy some tools. Their uh, names on the side of my Corvette. But yeah, me, me and Jimmy, we just been walking around for a little bit. We we're hanging out with Adam for a yeah, minute. It's good. It's hard. Like, your semen has so much coverage as like a vlogger. It's like, why do I show like everything or not? So, so I, tools, I, I think what we need to do is we just need to give somebody a sir. Right sir. here. Oh, sir. You got me good. Real stressed out here in that. You're just like, oh man, who did this all? <laughs> the sir is is definitely something. I did it in front of Adam, and he like freaked out. As Jimmy thought it was going like somebody was getting him, and it was just me. So I didn't tell him about it. I just I just let one out a little bit ago. You gotta find someone who looks guilty. Need one of those. Yeah, the guilty people. Guilty. Sir. <laughs> Sorry. <about that>. <laughs> <laughs> You guys know my buddy James from Build to Race. This is that S10 that I painted. He's out here sending it in the burnout comp or the burn yard. Jake. He has a twin turbo 1UZ. It's actually an LS400 chassis on a, uh, it's like a 1950 something Pontiac. Then we got James from Build Tune Race out here. He popped them tires. That's like less than a minute. Let up. Hey, great job, buddy. Couldn't even see you. That's the point, right? Yeah. That's crazy. So this is a swap that I, I have a lot of parts for, actually. Dave Hurd has a K series. He's a uh, S13. I think it does pretty good. I think they had some turbo issues or had something. They're trying to get the manifold off. But pretty cool little truck they got over here at the Hoonigan. Two JZ swapped. Ford Lightning. Well, Lightning F150 like they had in the Fast and Furious. Which kind of makes sense. You know, pop the hood. This thing's also pretty cool over here. Things a 2 jz swap Lamborghini. I like how the cantilever suspension stuff. This is another thing that the Hoonigan guy is doing. Kind of 
a cool twist on the dong. This warthog is really sweet too. I'm sure you guys, if you guys watch any of the Hoonigan stuff, you're really familiar with this, but I haven't really paid a whole lot of attention, but it's cool seeing, I've seen the stuff on Instagram. It's really cool to see them in person. Pretty cool uh, A90 Supra over here. This guy's over at race service with uh, it has a uh, Judd racing engine in it, which is really cool. It's like a Formula One style V10, it's four liter. It sounds ridiculous, but they put it in an A90 Supra. He's gonna do some drift stuff with this thing, so I'm really excited. I've seen some videos on it online, how it uh, how it sounds. All right, guys. So day three of SEMA. I don't know what this thing is, but it's really cool. So I've done one road course day in uh, RSX, and now I want one of these. Just walking around, found this new GT86, it's all wide body. This thing's at the Cusco booth. One thing I found interesting was it has this little little spring-loaded thing to keep the dipstick from shooting out. It kind of looks like a little universal thing. That's really cool. One of the things out here a lot this year is a lot of EV swaps. This is a really cool C10 that is fully electric. So you see it's all wide body. The Tesla motor, all the packs and stuff right there. Pretty, uh, pretty rad setup. It's got a little e-brake. Really rad. This is the salvage to savage guys they just started a youtube channel i think and uh this is a twin turbo ls delorean which is really cool really cool setup in there got some garrett turbos it's awesome so this looks like a 510 it's right hand drive but it has like this extra body line down here. So it almost looks like they're trying to make it oh, a Skyline, but it looks like a Datsun 510. It's really interesting. It's probably a Skyline, but it really looks like a Datsun 510. A lot of cool stuff out here at the Toyo booth. Oh, here's another 510. This thing's sick. Crazy. Been hanging out in the Toyo Tread Pass thing for a little while. But man, really, really cool cars over here with all the Toyo. Really like the colors of this, you know, the, the black, silver, and the green. This is a sick uh, Evo 9 build. Everything looks really cool. So, kind of interesting. I really like all the wide body stuff. It's just crazy, all how aggressive. All the arrow and everything is on here. But imagine if the Evo wagon looked like this. It's a nice rig right there. Dave, how's your SEMA show? How's it been? It's uh, pretty, pretty open. Yeah, no. We ended up talking to a lot of companies. It was kind of nice that the fact that there wasn't as many people out here. You could actually get around and, and talk to people and even like right now, normally you wouldn't be able to walk through here without there being like literally like elbow to elbow. And uh, you could actually do that this year, which is really cool. And uh, the other cool thing is like they have these open sections. So normally, like in order to eat lunch, you'd have to like stand or like lean up against the edges or by the bathrooms or whatever. Now they actually have like tables and chairs and food just in the middle. Dave, let's, let's do that. All right, well, me and Dave are headed to the airport. Dave, I need me a type R probably. Things are sick, or an FD. This could be me and you, right there. You could have a running FD, I could have a running... What's that song go like? I don't know. All right, boys, just like that, we're back in Colorado. All right, guys, so 
She made it back in the truck. Let this thing warm up. It is a little bit chilly here in Colorado. It's 45 degrees. Uh, man, I need, it reminds me of all the things I need to do. I need to put coolant in some of the cars. I need to blow up my sprinkler system at my house and, uh, you know, basically get everything winter ready. So appreciate you guys watching this video. I know it was kind of a last minute spur of the moment trip, um, but I think it worked out really good. Everything just seemed really chill and relaxed out there. And, uh, you know, not a ton of people, which was really cool, but it seemed like all the right people were there. So hung out with Adam and Jimmy one night, hung out with James and them from Build Tune Race. And then I actually ended up flying home a day sooner uh, just because Dave was pretty much on the same flight, didn't have to buy a hotel. And uh, I think I pretty much seen and did all the things that I needed to do. So uh, we have some new things. I think we have to move all of our cars tomorrow at the shop, uh, the landlords. It's, oh man, it's just, it's a mess there. Been trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the shop and all this situation this week. But nonetheless, appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, I guess, my little take on the SEMA thing. And uh, you know, maybe, maybe we'll build something for next year. But appreciate you guys watching, see you later.